Well, you've noticed it, you've commented about it, and you better believe I've felt it. I've gained some weight, I've let myself go a bit, and it's not only time to make a change about it, but I've already begun. Let's talk about it. Hey everyone, Josh here again with Daily Mountain Bike Rider. And today we're talking about a subject that I don't normally talk about on my channel. No, it's not about my mini truck or some new crazy invention that I've come up with with my mountain bike, but it's in fact talking about me personally and it's actually about my weight. For those of you who have tuned in for the channel for a long time, you'll notice that if you go back in time to a little under three years ago, you'll notice that I am a few pounds heavier than I was when I started. In fact, when I started this channel, I weighed 180 pounds and I looked like a pretty normal average guy. But slowly but surely, as the channel has gone on and my life has gotten busier and busier with work, making YouTube videos, having two kids, and just getting a little lazier, I've slowly seen the pounds quickly add on to my body. This really came to accumulation for me at the beginning of this year, 2020, which will go down as just the most terrific year that's ever happened. When I stepped on the scale and I weighed 230 pounds. That's right, 50 pounds more than when I started making videos. Now, before I go too much further, you may be asking yourself, man, I wonder if this guy has struggled with weight before, or if this is like a first time thing. And the truth is, I've pretty much struggled with my weight since I can remember. Since I've been in high school, I've noticed that I'm the type of person that if I eat unhealthy or don't exercise, I can quickly pack on the pounds. In fact, I've weighed 230 pounds before uh, and made a lot of lifestyle changes to get all the way down to 170 pounds. And I've actually done that twice. It hasn't been such a drastic roller coaster all the way down, but I've seen my weight fluctuate and, and trend up and down as the years have gone on. Now, when I looked at myself this year, I realized something was a little different. Uh, the last time I weighed 230 pounds, I was like 18 years old, which is over 10 years ago and I've made a lot of life changes and I've just gotten really lazy over the last year. So when I stepped on that scale January 1st, I realized, man, I need to make some serious changes. So being the YouTuber I am, I pulled out my camera, I got some video of the before me at 230 pounds with my glory shirt off. Don't worry, you're not gonna see these right now. You're gonna see those at the end of the transformation, but I knew I had to make a change. So I started eating healthier, I started working out more like I've done so many times before, and I saw a little bit of weight cam off. In fact, I think in about three weeks I lost 15 pounds, I was feeling really good, uh, but then something happened. <laughs> I stopped. Started eating unhealthy again, uh, started working out less. I would still ride my bike, but I would just eat more food after I rode it. And I noticed all that excitement to lose weight had slowly faded. I actually did that twice this year, uh, where I got the stoke to lose weight. I would do it for a couple weeks and then I would lose motivation. And if you struggled with weight at all, you know it's a pretty vicious cycle. It's a cycle of self-deprecation and feeling like, man, I need to get my stuff together. And then you go and try to lose weight and you do so well, yet then life slowly creeps back in. And for a long time, I mean, for months, I just thought to myself, I know I need to lose weight. I want to get in better shape, but I'm just missing any motivation to actually do it. So I didn't do anything. That was until I heard about a video that was made from my buddy, Robert. If you haven't heard about Robert, Robert is an awesome YouTube creator located down in California. And me and Robert have actually become really good friends over the years with our love of mountain biking. He's such a great guy. And my friend actually told me about Robert's weight loss video, which I quickly watched and I couldn't believe my eyes. You see, Robert is a guy that instead of making a video like I did saying, here's all the cool things I'm gonna do, Robert made a video as he progressed in the first month of his weight loss journey and then put a video out to the world, letting them know that he had already lost 20 pounds. And as I watched this video, I just thought to myself, man, I am so motivated right now by Robert's um, just awesome commitment to lose weight. And not only that, I instantly thought to myself, I've got to jump on this train. I realize that I've needed motivation, that here I have a good buddy of mine who's doing the same thing that I know I need to do, and yet he's already doing such a great job at it. 
So literally that next day, actually I think it was the night I watched the video, I uh, got Chipotle for the frame family. I ate my last big glorious meal, the final supper, totally loaded up. And then I told Robert like, hey Robert, we need to connect on like FaceTime. We need to talk because I am joining you in this challenge. So then the very next Thursday, about three and a half weeks ago, uh, Robert and I FaceTime. Of course, I had to get a clip of it. And we talked about the fact that we're going to do this challenge together. I'm going to jump on Robert's challenge, the, not because I think he needs the encouragement, but because I desperately need the encouragement. And Robert was awesome, man. He's like, dude, if that's going to help you, that's awesome. He's like, I think it's going to help me too. So let's do it. So since then, I have been working out a ton, literally riding my bike every day, almost nonstop. I have been eating extremely healthy. I've been totally turning my life around for the better. And unlike the beginning of the year where I did it for a couple weeks and then the motivation was gone, it's amazing how just one person journeying with you makes such a big difference. Now, as Robert and I talked about this, we realized, hey, we got to have some fun in this as well. We should totally do a competition. So Robert, realizing it was an election year, said, let's do a total election style competition where each pound that we lose is a vote in our corner. And so we started on the same day. It was Sunday, just a couple days after that Thursday that we chatted, or sorry, Monday. And we weighed in and said any pounds after that would be votes towards us all the way till election day. That's right in November. And at the end, there's going to be some uh, stakes on the line, both literally and figuratively of what the loser is going to have to do. So I weighed in Monday morning and I weighed 219.2 pounds, 10 pounds down from the start of the year. And I thought, man, that's not great, but it's something I can work on and start going. So like Robert, like I said, I started eating healthy, doing everything right. And I am very happy to let you guys know that just three weeks later, I'm already down 11 pounds. That's right, 212 pounds, 11 pounds in three weeks. And if I'm honest, one part of me is like pretty stoked, like losing a little over three pounds a week, it's really good. But on the other side, I'm like, man, I've lost weight and done this exact same thing before and lost even more weight and I'm a little bummed but I'm stoked knowing that I'm going in the right direction. I have more motivation than ever, and I'm stoked to be doing it with a friend. So why am I telling all of you guys this? What's the point of this video actually? Well, there's a couple points. First off, it's accountability. I want you guys to know, especially those who have commented on the fact that I've been eating a few too many Twinkies and Ho-Hos, <laughs> that I'm doing something about it and I'm super stoked about it. Number two is to let you know that I'm not just doing something about my weight, but I'm super motivated by my friend Robert who's challenged me. And number three, my hope is to challenge you guys, like my friend Robert challenged so many people in me as well. My hope is that you wouldn't just watch this video, like I tell you not to do about my bike videos, not just watch this, but go and do it. My hope is that you would join me and Robert in the fight to lose weight and get healthier. Seeing that I have over 120,000 subscribers and people who watch a lot of my videos, I'm sure others of you out there are just like me, waiting for motivation and somebody to encourage you to lose weight like you need to. Here's your encouragement. Here's your kick in the butt. Join in. So you can join in. Just let me know in the comments below. But more than that, me and Robert are making a challenge for you all. Our hope is that you would pull out those fancy smartphones out of your pocket, you would take some small videos, and you would document your progress. And at the end of your journey, which hopefully is either at election day before or maybe way after, that you would submit a video to our competition with the hashtag Tubby2020. <laughs> That's right. Thanks, Robert, for that good hashtag. And of all the entries that we're going to get of the people joining us in our pursuit of fitness, we're going to pick one lucky grand prize winner to win a pretty spectacular prize. The real prize is getting healthy, but an additional prize is something else pretty cool is pretty worth it. And you want to know what the prize is? It's so top secret because Robert and I might be still figuring it out. Anyway, I really do hope that you will join in and not just view. And I'm going to document my transformation along the way, talking about the food that I'm consuming, the fitness that I am exerting, and the challenges along the way that we are all going to face. My hope is that as 2021 comes, and I pray it's a way better year than 2020, that I will look a lot more like what I looked like when I started this channel. All right, I think that's about it. Oh, wait, 
but also there's merchandise to support and encourage us in this process that you can go check out for both me and Robert. My merchandise page includes uh, some other shirts that I have and people ask me about merchandise all the time, so I'm stoked that it's available to you. But also be sure to check out Robert's stuff because he makes a ton of great gear as well. Any merchandise that gets purchased goes to the funding of this awesome challenge that we are doing. All right, that about wraps it up. You know what time it is. Don't spend too much time watching a guy talk about weight loss, not bikes in his garage. But get out there, ride your bike, lose your weight, and make sure you do it every day.